Guys, welcome back to Car Spec Garage. This is going to be a kind of a quick video. I was talking to my buddy Dave the other day, and we were just talking about the values of electric cars. And as you know, I've got the GV60, Genesis GV60, and uh, my buddy Dave's got one too. And we were kind of looking, do we trade up on them? What kind of price can we get for the car in the used market? Um, so I'm up here at CarMax. I'm not going to film the whole process. I don't think it's right or fair. Um, they may not even let me anyway. So this will be kind of a quick video. I just want to see what CarMax will give me for my Genesis GV60. Now, of course, you know, it's a 2023. It's got about 15,300 miles on it, somewhere around there, give or take. Um, so um, yeah, we're just going to see what kind of price we can get. So um, hold on just a few minutes. Um, and once we get the value for the car, I'll jump back on and we'll go over the value. But um, the outside of the Tesla, uh, just because Tesla is, to me, is manipulating the market a little bit um, on their EVs. And they can do that because they're really refining their manufacturing process. And they're just literally killing the competition on develop or building these cars. Um, the prices are sinking on these um you know, on the EV market, um, even Tesla to a point, but not as bad. So um, I think everybody feels more comfortable in a Tesla from a resale value than they do these other cars. I mean, I was talking to my buddy at the Mercedes dealership. Um, he's got, or at the time had like 60 or not 60, probably 30 EQ line, like EQS is EQE sedans, things like that on the market, on their lot. And they couldn't even sell them. They can't even uh, basically give them away. Um, they're giving incredible lease offers. So if you're interested, of course, in a lease, you could probably get a heck of a lease on a Mercedes, like half the value uh, monthly. It, it's just crazy. So I'm not quite sure what this market's doing. I know the government's driven some of this with their, um, their tax credits only being American type built or at least most of the parts manufactured here or what have you. So it's kind of, it, you know, it's a combination, I think, of the government, the, of course, the economy, the interest rates and all that. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to see what CarMax gives and I'll be right back. Hold tight. All right, guys, we are back. I'm in the car. Um, took about maybe 30 minutes to get the process done for CarMax to appraise the car. Let me start and tell you what I pay for the car. I'll tell you what I got for the appraisal here at CarMax. And I'll also tell you the appraisal I got with um, Tesla as well. So <clears throat> this, and I apologize, the pollen in the air today is crazy. So it's got my sinuses, throat and all that. The allergies all mixed, messed up today. All right. So I paid $61,550 for this car. You subtract out the $7,500 from that, and that'll give you the value of the car. I did get the full $7,500 um, tax credit back this past year. Um, not partial, but I got it back. I was lucky to have bought the car before the government changed its rules um, towards the end of the year last year. So I was very, or not, not the end of the year, kind of mid-year last year. So I was really lucky. All right, so... Tesla, let's go to Tesla's appraisal. Tesla um, is going to give me $45,300 for the car. And I've just rejected that. There's just no way I'm going to um, give the car away. I'll just drive it and not look at um, possibly getting a Tesla. Um, I'll have another video as to, again, as to why I want to do, I want to move away from this car, I think. Um, and we'll, we'll discuss that. Um, if I decide to sell it, trade it in or whatever. Okay. So the appraisal from CarMax is $49,000. So I will have to say from the low ball offer that Tesla gave me, I was really wasn't expecting this. Um, I thought it'd be around the $45,000 mark. So $49,000 for this car. If you look at the the cost of the car minus the subtract out the seventy five hundred dollars, I roughly drove this car for around five thousand dollars, if my math is right, around close to five thousand um, dollars. So I don't think it's that bad. I've, I've had the car for about nine months, so not a full year. 
So I'll, I'll play around with the numbers and see. But um, this 49 was promising, but it definitely feeds into my theory on these cars. And we'll have another video and talk about um, why I think that minus the Teslas, the EV market is real shaky if you're trying to sell one. Um, and definitely don't buy an EV over MSRP and try to even get below MSRP because I'm telling you, the, the between the government, between interest rates, the economy, the, just, I, I don't know. Um, I think Tesla is manipulating the market a little bit with the way they can drop their prices, but they're also much further ahead from an efficiency standpoint in building their cars compared to everybody else. And yeah, if I looked at a why this car interior wise is a better car, there's no doubt about it. Um, no, no doubt. Um, but from a, <clears throat> um, I would say efficiency standpoint, um, from a resale value standpoint, um, technology standpoint, Tesla is still a better vehicle. But overall, I've just got to make a decision is if it's based off interior and all that and build quality. <clears throat> I know that the new build quality of the Teslas out of the um, Texas plant is much better than what's happening in Fremont right now. So that'll be even another video we'll talk about. So anyway, just want to let you know, 49000 here at CarMax, not as bad as I thought. Leave me your comments below. Let me know what you think. I'm um, just trying to make a decision on what I'm going to do. Till the next video, have a great day.